Right now, Daddy and I are at the beach watching the sunrise. Well, never mind. We're not watching the sunrise because we're at Clearwater where we can see the sunset. But we're at the beach right now. So I'm not in this premiere right now. And I'm okay. So I want to say thank you very much to all of our channel moderators, all of our aunts and our uncles that are in here hosting right now. Without you guys, man, I'm telling you what. I don't think you realize how much you bless my life, but I want you to know you bless my life every single day. I think about you guys and I talk about you every day. When I'm not on YouTube, you guys are a regular part of my daily conversation. I want y'all to know that you're very special to us. And I really appreciate you hosting this for me. Don't forget to share this because I'm not here to share, okay? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> You're hilarious. He said, what'd you stop for? <laughs> you guys are so cute. <laughs> Don't give each other kisses. That's so sweet. Are you hungry? You ready to eat? Okay. Good morning. We are about to make some pumpkin, pumpkin bread waffles. I'm going to take my banana bread recipe. I'm going to use it and I'm going to substitute pumpkin for the bananas basically. And so I'm going to add a couple other things. So I'm super excited about this. I think they're going to love this. Some of you are concerned about the amount of sugar that goes into this recipe. And I want you to realize that it makes seven huge waffles. Like dinner plate size waffles that are about that thick and Tonka and Monroe do not eat more than one maybe one and a half at a time and then usually throughout the week I'll give them like a little square piece like in the morning but it's not much so they don't eat it all at once they have no problems with their diet I have talked to our veterinarian about their diet and he's assured me that everything's okay what he said was too much fat for a dog is really bad Okay, we're going to start with four cups of flour. To the flour, we're going to add two teaspoons of baking soda, lid on, lid off. <laughs> okay, so tea two, tea, tea, tea two spoons are going to go into your flour. Do you guys do that or is that just me? I am forever mixing my words up. Okay. Two teaspoons go directly into your flour. Now I'm gonna add one teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna stir it together. So, have you guys tried any of these waffles yet? So far, my favorite is definitely the lemon pound cake. Oh my word, I need more, they were so good. But the banana bread ones were really good too. Okay, so I'm gonna get on to the recipe now. This recipe calls for two sticks of room temperature butter. I have a little trick, I, I didn't. I didn't have enough butter because I needed to have some butter to put on top. So what I did was I took three tablespoons of avocado oil and I mix it in with the butter. So that's gonna kind of substitute it. And avocado oil is really good for your dogs, but never the pit that will kill them. So I'm gonna add our butter. Okay, so now we're gonna add the sugar. 
I have a cup of firmly packed light brown sugar. Um, you can, I love dark brown sugar, but we're out of it, so I have to get some more. Um, but we're gonna add that and one cup of regular sugar. They're bumping into me. They're so cute. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm distracted. And one cup of regular sugar. Cane sugar reminds me of Cane Brown. Oh, that man can sing. Oh my, I love his voice so much. Okay, so I'm gonna cream this together. What are you guys doing? Doo -doo. <laughs> okay, so we have our sugars mixed together pretty good. Now I'm gonna mix in four eggs. Seems like she's gonna save her mama too. Yes, they're, they're the bestest babies ever, I swear. You can help them. Oh, it's sad. They love to lick the butter packet. <laughs> I love you. I love you and I love you so much, your mama babies. So now I'm gonna crack the egg. We're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. One, two. Gonna add a teaspoon. I'm going to add a teaspoon. I need an accent. Okay, let me see. I am gonna add a teaspoon of cinnamon. That's right, I said cinnamon. It's delicious. There's our teaspoon of cinnamon. We're gonna pour it right into here. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna pour it in here. Why not? There we go. Now I'm gonna add the pasta resistance pumpkin pie spice. I'm gonna add a teaspoon and a half of this stuff. One teaspoon. Oh well, we'll just do a teaspoon and a couple shakes, okay? I gotta make sure the lid's back on there, cause if oh I have to I have to first get the correct lid to go back on there, and I had not had the correct lid, but now I do. So we have one teaspoon, and now we're gonna do some shakes. Shake, shake, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake. What? You know you have to make cooking a little fun, right? For those of you I've lost already, I apologize. Well, oh wait, never mind. You're gone. I can't apologize to you. I should apologize at the beginning of the video. Now I'm gonna add two cans of pumpkin. And for you guys that are gonna complain about my accent, bless your little hearts. And for you guys that love my accent, I love you too. Okay, I'm dumping it in there. That's two 15 ounce cans. I suppose I should say that because y'all might buy two 30 ounce cans and pour in 60 ounces of pumpkin. accent like Jody's. Jody has a cool accent and I every time I try 
every time I try to do a cool accent, I sound Italian. So we're gonna mix this together till it's really mixed well. We're gonna need a bigger bowl. We're gonna gradually add our flour mixture to our wet mixture. Okay, now it's almost all mixed in. I did not use an electric mixer, I used my hand. I don't like to use electric mixers unless I have to, and I did not have to with this. I feel like it overbeats stuff, and I don't wanna over, <laughs> over. <laughs> I don't wanna overbeat anything. I have my waffle iron on low. I cook on low every time, and it takes about three minutes for these waffles to cook from what I have experienced so far. The batter looks really good. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy, I can't hold it up. Holy cow. It's a weight lifter. Look at that. Nice, thick batter. I don't have a lot of butter, so instead of buttering the waffle iron, I'm gonna use green rice coconut oil. It's good for the dogs. And it's coconut oil, and it's green rice, so. Okay, these pumpkin ones are taking more about five minutes than three. These take a little bit longer to cook. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Okay, let's say grace. God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for our food. By his hands we all are fed. Thank you for our daily bread. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, amen. Tarka. Oh, my bro, you guys say Oh, okay. Here we go. They ate half of it inside already. Tonka was a thief. It was cute though. He actually shared with Monroe. It was adorable. They love these. These made seven huge waffles too. They're only eating one each. I'm gonna go get them some water. Are you full? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> he dropped it. Girl's like, man, bro, you go, girl. She's killing us. This pumpkin, so this is good for them. We hope you guys are having just as yummy a breakfast as they are. I'm going to try it. That's really good. If you like pumpkin, you will love these. <laughs> Did you he spit a piece out on her plate? <laughs> so he gets still a piece. Here, here, Tom. Here. Okay, here. You still have some on your plate. It's so funny. I hope you guys are having a super duper blessed Sunday. Mmm. Might have another bite. This is delicious.
She says no more bites, Mom. That's <laughs> soggy. This, excuse me, that's waterlogged. We hope you guys have a super duper blessed Sunday. We love you. Later. You guys ate a whole bunch of waffles, huh? Those are delicious.